my secret, not so secret, special light shows in my glasses. So I do need to put them on to read your messages though. Um, so hi everybody, let's have a look. Um, Simon Lake, hi. Um, Fiona Lyons 97, thumbs up. Jenny Ann, I'm looking really good, thanks. Samantha Baker, hi Claire. Happy September, hurrah. Um, yeah, I hope you're all doing really well. Um, I have been batch cooking today to get ready for the tour to make sure my family don't starve while, I, <laughs> while I'm away. Um, and I, well, I could open a restaurant. It looks a bit like I've been doing the tour catering already. <laughs> um, who's this? Kip John. Greetings from Phoenix, Arizona. Amazing. Um, what have I been up to today? I have been batch cooking. So I have, what have I made today so far? I've made a chili, I've made a fish pie, I've made shepherd's pie, I've made a casserole, chicken curry. Um, oh, what else? Oh, and I'm a massive bolognese um, to make lasagna and stuff as well. So they definitely won't starve. I think it's probably gonna last us the whole of rehearsals as well. So I will get to eat some of it. <laughs> Um, let's see, Amy, hi, Amy here, can we come round for tea? Do you know what, <laughs> do you know what I've done? I've done all this batch cooking and it's not all quite ready yet and I don't know what to have for dinner. <laughs> I haven't sorted anything out for dinner so I don't actually know what we're going to have tonight. Um, maybe we'll have a bit of everything, I'll have, um, I have to steal a bit of something from from each one. Um, Charlie will just have sausages or fish fingers or something anyway. Um, do I still make pasta a la Clara, Sally Bryce? Yes, I do now and again. Um, I'm not going to do it for this to freeze it because it will end up not very nice. But I do still make it and I make it a bit different now. I try and make it posh, um, as posh as I am, which is not very posh. Um and I use passata instead of tomato soup and pancetta <laughs> instead of a packet of cooked ham and um what's the other thing oh I put mascarpone in it but I still put loads of cheese and onion and I put chestnut mushrooms in instead of normal mushrooms so it's, it's posh it still tastes the same so I should just get a tin of soup um <laughs> um who else let's see oh, well we need the updated recipe i've kind of just given it to you it's just you know it's passata which is basically tomato soup isn't it really um hello from the philippines hi how are you it's lovely to see you um let's see paul Faye mel i'm the biggest fan of steps and i dance and sing to all your songs adinda so do I eat Indonesian food? I, do you know what? I probably would because I love Thai and um, curry and I probably would. I, it's quite similar, some of it, isn't it? I don't know if I have had an Indonesian curry before, but I'd love to try. I'm not very good with spicy stuff, though. So that would not be great for me. Um, Vanessa Carey, hello from Hong Kong. Kevin Marsham, hi from Norfolk. Um, best Steps album in your opinion oh wait out of ours oh my goodness oh that's a tough one well it's got to be what the future holds part two hasn't it because that's the one that's out now um so yeah it's got to be that one um hello from malaysia wow all these people from all over the world it's amazing see november in aberdeen so excited how do i do i slow oh i can do that with my oh that's clever um Let's have a look. What about a Kylie collaboration, says Dino Pap 73 um, Well, wouldn't that be wonderful? But she might be a tad busy. I'd love to, it'd be amazing one day to do Better Than The Devil with her, wouldn't it? I would um, absolutely love to do that. I, um, but I don't know if she ever would. And we've, we've got a lot of the same team that we work with that um, works with her, so we have got an in, but whether or not 
she would ever do it. I don't know. Um, any spoilers for the tour? M. Newsome, 87. Um, no, I don't think there is, I'm afraid. Can't give you any spoilers because then it would spoil it, wouldn't it? Um, and we're st we are working on it at the moment. So we are kind of still getting our groove and figuring out what the whole... Oh, look, sorry, I should keep my eyes down because you can see those stupid rings. And I need the ring light because otherwise I look awful. Um, so why is this stop moving now? Would I ever do Bake Off? Lou Claire 80. Do you know what? I probably would, but I'm a really slow baker slash cook. I like to do stuff in my own time. I'm really not very good at doing things under a um, under a time constraint, which goes for quite a lot of things in my life, really. Give me um, a set time to do something and I will tend to not be able to do it in that time. Um, but yeah, I probably would. I did MasterChef years ago and that was terrifying. And baking, like with cooking, you can kind of blag things. But with baking, even though I've done a lot of it, if things go wrong, they really go wrong. So, um, and I'm not sure how you can blag that. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm sure I could. Why have these comments stopped moving? Oh, do I have to do it like this now? How do I? What's Brogan Harlow says, what's your favourite song to perform on tour? Um, let me see. I don't know. Last time it was surprisingly 5678, which is a song you all know that we avoided for years and years and years to do live because we just... Um, I don't know why. I think we just got a bit bored of it. But the last time, if you came to the last tour, uh, the Party on the Dance Floor tour, we literally threw the kitchen sink at it and barn door, not barn doors, were they? Saloon doors. I had denim hot pants on. Um, what else? We had kind of... Um, <laughs> Yeah, and it was really fun. Did a full online dance, so it was really, really fun. So the last time it was that. This time I'm really looking forward to um, doing what the future holds. I'm quite um, excited to see what um, can be done with that in the, in a live setting, like proper big old, because it's massive, isn't it? It's epic. Sorry, I'm really fidgeting. I'm sitting on a cushion to try and keep me up a bit higher, but it's not doing its job. Um... Yeah, so I'm quite excited about that one. So I think that it will be that. Uh, let's see. Kirsty Gordon, can't wait to see Birmingham. Linda Homer, hello from Hungary. Oh, it's amazing. Will you be performing the slightest touch on tour? I love it. We love it too, but um, you'll have to wait and see, won't you? Nadine, 84, hi from NYC. Uh, Favourite song on what the future holds? Part two, says Dane Thompson, 31. Oh, um... So many. I think it probably is the slightest touch, but I do love High and A Million Years and Wasted Tears. I absolutely love. It's been my favourite for quite a while. So, yeah, I really like Wasted Tears. Um, yeah, there's a few, actually. There's a few, and there's some that really grow as well. Um, so, let's see. How do you... How do you find dancing with one hand? Face Steps 2020. Well, obviously we have to hold a microphone these days. Dancing with one hand is quite a lot easier than dancing with um, with two. There's less to remember, isn't there? Although sometimes I forget to hold my mic up. Um, will there be a Christmas song on tour? Oh, not sure about that. I don't think so. I don't think there will because we've finished just at the very beginning of December so we probably won't do a Christmas song another Bella Yoa from Indonesia you've loved steps since you were 10 that's amazing um hi from Libya wow it's Mo89 hello to Libya that's amazing Alice White 
Um, growing up, I copied each of your haircuts. Wow. That was, that's amazing because I spent <laughs> the first few years of our career trying to grow my hair out because it was too short and I hated it too short. So I spent years growing it and then you were cutting it to look like mine. So that's, that's quite cool. Um, let's see. Ed Roche. Claire, first time seeing you guys in November in Belfast. Can't wait. How exciting. You're going to love it. I promise. Um, we've got, we, we're pulling together a really exciting show. So I think everyone's going to absolutely love it. And as you all know, we love a party. So um, I think you are going to all absolutely love it. Can't get this angle right. Can't wait to see you on tour. Um, Daffodil Girl, love steps since the beginning. Thank you. Um, do, do, do. Matthew Morley, hello. Nice to see you. Um, D Hume, 1992. On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you for the tour? Tour DVD is a must. I've got something in my teeth. Gross, sorry. Um... How excited? I'm really excited. I can't wait. It's been a long time coming, hasn't it? We've waited a long, long time for this tour. So very excited to get back on stage and do what we love the most. So hopefully you will all enjoy it too. Um, Muldoon85, their 30th Steps concert in Glasgow in November. Meet and greet to celebrate. Yay! Wow, 30 times seeing us, that's incredible. Um, I don't even think I've been that many times. <laughs> um, crazy Women Country, will you be performing a solo on the tour? Do you know what? I don't think we are because we've just got so much back catalogue and so many, you know, we've got two brand, brand new albums of stuff. We've got all our back catalogue to choose from and it's been a bit of a nightmare choosing everything and we obviously want you guys to go away feeling satisfied that you've um had as many of the hits as possible so um I don't think we are there's there might be something but I'm not going to give it away um but yeah we won't be doing full solos I'm afraid there's just too much to fit in um are you doing any of the old stuff on your tour of course we would never ever 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 not do that we know where our roots are and we know what you guys love. So we'll absolutely be doing all the old stuff and some of the new stuff as well. So we'll try and we're going to try and get a really good mix across the board. Um, Michaela. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm really sorry. Love from Sweden. Hello to Sweden. That's amazing. Um, Aurelian Discovery. Thank you for making real pop music. You're welcome. Um, we love pop music and, um, we love making it. So we're really, really glad that you're enjoying it. Um, let's see. Hello. Steps fan 20. Oh, another one. Hello. I have a question. Do an album, do an album based around an unreleased tracks. Sorry. I don't really understand that. It's, um, do you want us to do an album around unreleased tracks? Unreleased as in never been on an album before because we literally record what we put on albums. There's really not much recorded, I don't think, that we haven't put on an album at some point or another. Um, so I'm not sure we could even do that. Good question though. Um, Dublin, Andrew, hi from Dublin. What's the recording process like when you record separately? How do you decide who sings what? Um, well, when we're recording, we, we do each go in separately and we all lay down a vocal. Um, when I go in, I generally sing everything. And then um, it's really the producers actually that decide. I think a lot of, there's a lots of factors to, that goes into deciding of, like the key of the song and, um and who just kind of sounds best on each bit really so there's but we do kind of leave it down to I'm sure when we're in the studio we go oh, I really like this bit I'd love for this bit to be me um 
so but we do kind of have to leave it down to them just then it's you know it's out of our hands which um is probably the best way to do it um let's see any plans for the 25th anniversary random angel 85 do you know what yes nothing concrete yet but we're definitely chatting and trying to decide what we'd like to do i know you guys excuse me I know you guys have got lots of ideas of what you'd love to see and do. We are doing lots of summer shows next year. So we'll be performing throughout the summer, probably from kind of like May to September, um, which will be fun. And we're coming up with a, a really nice show for you guys for that. Um, but yeah, we're just pulling together plans at the moment. So we're not entirely sure, but yes, there will definitely be plans for the 25th. Um... <laughs> some concert official Liam Lokes concert spoiler lots of singing and dancing yes correct there is lots of singing and dancing oh look there's H hi I don't know how long ago you sent that it's only just started moving again <laughs> um Peter Salmon 19 will you be using headsets to give us the full dance routines uh probably not oh it's moving again why is it moving ah why is it doing that? It stopped. Um, someone just woke up ready for their night shift just in time. Sally Briars, hello. Claire Rachel Central, what's your favourite tour outfit you've worn to date? Ooh, I don't know. I think the red opening outfit from last time was amazing. I loved that. Really dramatic. Um, hi, H. Hi, H. Who's the quickest to learning at dance routines? Me and H, 100%, we're the best at learning dance routines and we have done for, have been for 25 years. <laughs> you know, um, it's definitely not me and H. Um, I don't know actually, we've all kind of, oh look, why are you being nice to me H? This, what are you after? I don't know. Um, I... I think we're all kind of, we all have our moments. We all have our moments, but we have got better. But the routines have got simpler, thankfully. Um, who is the best member of Step, says Ian Watkins. Um, what do you think? Mr. Watkins, thanks for your question. Um, oh God, these are going by too quickly now. I don't know why they're moving. Um, I love the photo behind, was it from Half a Heart? Yes, it was. <laughs> back from the times when I didn't need um, tape to keep everything in place. <laughs> um, Jasmine 229, shout out to me, please. Hi, Jasmine. Um, uh, uh, join, uh, oh, Nicola Jane says Claire's the best age. I didn't say that, I didn't say that. Um, Zoe says they love 5678. Um, Claire, besides batch cooking, batch cooking, what preparation do you do ahead of a tour? Um, oh, well, I've started getting my voice all ready and in shape, doing lots of warm ups every day and, um, drinking lots of water and, um, just kind of making sure I'm ready for the onslaught of a nearly a two hour show because I've not sung that much for a long time. So... And then just make sure everything's in order because obviously I've got to leave. The kids are both at secondary school now, which is a little bit easier, thankfully. Um, so I don't have to do so much, but I do always panic a little bit when I go away that their uniform will be washed and stuff <laughs> ready on a Monday. Um, when I'm here, it might not be ironed, but it's washed. Um, smelly kids, will I have pink hair for the tour? Um, I don't know. I'm still deciding. Maybe, hopefully. Um, I'd like to, because it's fun, isn't it? And um, I, I think I can have fun with that. Um, official Liam Lokes. How many What the Future Holds albums do you reckon you have signed? Quite a few. Not going to lie. Um, not sure I want to sign another one again for a while, but there was a lot. Um, because not only did we sign all the ones that you guys so amazingly bought, um anyone that came to our signings we signed everybody's there as well so um obviously 
I have to say thank you so, so much to all of you for all the support. It's absolutely incredible. The fact that you just rallied around us and tried so hard to get us to number one. Um, it just isn't meant to be, is it, anymore? It's just not meant to be. So, But we so appreciate it. And we're all so touched and so humbled by the fact that you would do that for us because it meant an awful lot. So we are determined to make this tour just absolutely incredible for you guys. We want to make it the best tour that we've ever done. Just as a massive thank you, because without you, obviously, we still wouldn't be here. Um, and without you, we we just wouldn't be doing it because this is all for you guys now. This is This is for you for the nearly 25 years, can you believe, um, of following us. So it is a massive thank you to all of you. And I personally want to say a huge massive thank you for all the support that you gave us last week, because it really kind of, um, I don't know, it, it made, it made the fact that we didn't get to number one mean more because you all tried so hard. So Thank you, guys. Um, let's see, any more questions. Is there going to be a European tour as well? I don't know. I don't think so. Not at this moment. I'm saying hello to you. H, can you not... He's, he's sending text messages saying he said hello on Insta. And he's still saying you who. I have said hello, haven't I? Maybe maybe there's a delay. <laughs> I don't know. Um when you're coming to Atlanta, Georgia, I would love that. That'd be amazing. But I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to get over to America. Um, that would be a magic. A magic? That would be amazing. Wade Murphy. How did... What did that say? Oh, God. Everything's going by. How did you ever get... Ever perfect that belt? I don't... I don't know. It just kind of happened... I don't know. It's just something that I I can do. Um, it gets a bit harder as I'm older. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's just something I can do, I guess. I'm lucky. Um, let's see. Who else? Michael is coming to Leeds. Brilliant. There's nothing like a steps party, says Daz Faz. No, there's not. There's not. Um, smash it now. What's your least favourite step single? I haven't got a least favourite. They're all incredible, aren't they? Um, I, d I honestly don't think I could choose a least favourite. I honestly, honestly don't. I think that would be doing a disservice to all of us. Um, Lee Lewis, will Michelle Visage appear on the tour? I don't know, actually. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? That would be absolutely incredible. But don't know. Don't know. It depends. She's a very busy lady. We would love her to, but we shall see. Um, George Marsh. When's the new music video coming? Oh, don't know. I wasn't meant to tell you about that, was I? <laughs> Let it slip when we did the Facebook Live last week. Um, George Marsh, 93. What's my favourite cocktail? Do you know what? I love a French martini. I think that's my favourite. Um... And I do quite like a margarita, but on the rocks with the salt rim and a little tumbler. That's nice. Um, let's see. Tracy Hunton, love you. Love you too. Um, Claire Rich Central, will you be flying over the audience on tour? Uh, no. No. I won't ever be doing that. Thank you very much. Um, don't like heights, so my feet will be staying firmly on the stage. Uh, um, let's see. I'm getting lots of the same questions. I don't know. Is everybody, um, see, I feel like there's a massive delay, um, because I'm answering all these questions and people are asking me the same question. I don't know why. Random Angel 85. Do you get sick of answering the same questions after 25 years? Do you know what? Sometimes, sometimes... But um, most of the time, people kind of tend to ask them in a very different way anyway. So it's fine. Uh, let's see. 
Mom Matty Pop. Thank you for always being so good to the fans. You're our queen. Ah, oh, that's nice. Thank you. Dino Pap, hello from Greece. Um so, oh, I can't read all these. Are you going to release alone anytime? And hi. Um, I did actually release a solo album a couple of years ago. God, I can't believe it. It's a couple of years ago already. Um, called My Wildest Dreams, if you missed it. It's on Spotify and Apple and stuff. Um, have a listen, see what you think. I'd love to do more, but we're very busy at the moment and we've got lots of stuff to do next year, so we shall see. Um, it would be nice, wouldn't it? And I'd love to do, you know, more shows. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so good at this, aren't I? I'm knocking my glasses off. Um, let's see, who else? When you hit those high notes in Victoria, so amazing. Oh, well, I must admit, I kind of listen and... Oh, hi, Adam Klein. How are you? Um, yeah, it makes me kind of go, ah, a little bit. Um, what's, let's see, oh god, like, these questions are going so quick, I can't read. Are there any plans after 2022? I don't know, there probably is, but I, we just need to get through 2022 first. <laughs> um, let's see, if you guys could pick a support act to tour with, who would you pick and why? Well, Venga Boys are amazing. And we love them and they're fantastic. But Sophie is supporting us on this tour, Sophie Ellis Bexter. So um, that's going to be incredible. I think um, I think she's going to hopefully do the same job as the Venk Boys did last time and get you all ready for us, which is going to be amazing. Um, what's the next single? Mm, not telling. I'm not going to fall into that trap and let that slip again as well. Um, would you ever release, are we getting a Steps Cruise for the 25th anniversary? That would be amazing, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm not entirely sure. I've never been on a cruise, not a proper one anyway. No, actually, I've never been on a cruise That's I, at all. I don't even why I said not a proper one. I've been on a boat, which wasn't fun, but, um... I've never been on a cruise, so I'm not entirely sure uh, if we could do a steps cruise. That would be fun though, wouldn't it? Um, let's see. Gavin Day's looking forward to the intimate show in Leeds. Yeah, that's gonna be incredible. That's gonna be a lovely little um, kind of detour off the, off the tour. Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be nice because we are, really kind of bubbling ourselves up for this tour um, to try and keep ourselves as safe as possible just to make sure that we stay on the road because the last thing we want is to for one of us to to go down with the dreaded it that shall not be named and um and we have to shut down so we're gonna we so to come and do that intimate show is going to be really nice so um Thank you for purchasing the album to get the ticket. Uh, let's see. Any plans for Cornwall Eden Project? Clara Pepper. I don't know. What are the kind of plans that you could make at the Cornwall Eden Project? I don't know. If there's plans to be made, then I'm sure we would consider it. I don't know. Um... Let's see. Really excited to see you in Newcastle. Come with my 65-year-old mum. She's buzzing. Mike Doc 90. That's amazing. Love that you're coming with your mum. Love it. Um, Steps to a countdown. Say you'll be mine on tour, please. I'm not going to give anything away. I'm not going to tell you anything. Um, do you know if any more dates will be added? I'm not sure yet. I think... Um, Obviously, if we need to, we will add them. So you guys have got to get out there and buy those tickets. Um, obviously, the more shows we would love to do. We love doing these arena tours. They really are our baby. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, I think that's me done, guys. I've got to go back, get back to me... Um, 
to my cooking because I left Daisy in charge and I can imagine most of it's burnt by now, bless her, because she's a bit more attached to her phone than the stove. Um, <laughs> um, again, just wanted to say thank you so, so much, guys, for all the support. Can't wait to see you all on tour. I really hope you get a chance to come and see us. I'm going to take these off now to get rid of those silly rings. Um, I really get, hope you get a chance to come and see us and um, to experience Steps Live because um, we think it's worth it and we think you all deserve a hell of a party after the um, year or so actually longer than that isn't it 18 months that we've all had so please do come and see us on tour we're so excited we're putting together our best tour yet i reckon um everybody's working so so hard on bringing you the tour that we all need and that we all deserve after everything that we've been through so thank you again so so much for all your support last week with the album we appreciate it so much and like I said, without you guys, we wouldn't still be here. So um, we're humbled, we're thankful, we're grateful for absolutely everything you guys do for us. And I'm going to go before I start getting teary and choked up and make a fool of myself. So um, I'm going to tie myself back to the hob and I'll see you really, really, really soon. Mwah! Lots of love, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. I don't know how to turn it off. What do I do? Do I... What do I...